Hi guys, it's Kate and I am here today to do a little bit of an intuitive watercolor. So I've got my Maylian watercolor palette. Um, I just did an unboxing of this recently, so I'm going to be using this today. And I'm also using New York Central 100% cotton watercolor paper. This is the 5x7. I've been playing with this a little bit lately. It's cold pressed, 140 pounds, and this is actually my last sheet out of this pack. But um, it's pretty nice paper. I usually use B for most of my videos, but this one, um, it's been growing on me, so I might keep getting it. <laughs> but this is what we're going to use today. So I've got my little spray bottle, and I'm going to moisten up my palette and also my paper. And I'm going to get my paper pretty moist. And then I'm going to take a brush and just kind of get it even on here. I'm just going to take it slow and easy today. So there's a color in the palette and it's turkey blue. And it's actually this one, and I really want to work with that today. When I was swatching these, I just thought that was such a pretty color. It's just a little bit, has like a bit of a turquoise kind of look to it. And it's just really pretty. Look at that on the palette. I'm going to add some water to that. And I'm going to start going in. Now I'm not taping down my edges, um, but I did spray both sides of my paper and that really helps with buckling. Since I'm planning on doing wet on wet today, that's fine with me. I'm going to go in with the yellow ochre and mix it in with what I have left of the turkey blue on my palette. And I'm just adding a little bit more blue to get this a little bit richer in some areas. 
going back in with my brush. I like that sort of transition of color in here. It's pretty nice. Now I'm going to come back in with more yellow. And a little bit of this, let's see, let's go with burnt sienna. And I'm going to Moisten my paper just a little bit more. Back in with the turkey blue. I like how this paint spreads. This is just really nice to work with. I'm going to take some of this mix and bring it in a little bit toward the top too so I have some continuation of color. And it's still moist so it is blending pretty nicely. Alright, I'm going to let that dry and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and we are mostly dry. It is dry to the touch. There is just a slight hint of dampness on the page. So I am actually, I was looking at this and I think it really um, dried beautifully. And I would like to get some darker values on here. So I'm going to go back in with a second layer of watercolor paint before I start my doodles. So I'm just going to grab my brush again and go in a little bit more concentrated with my color. So I'm going to dip back into that turkey blue because I really love that as a theme color. It's just so rich. I just, I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. If you can see. <laughs> And I'm going to go back over some of these areas on the bottom. So I'm going to give this a little spray and get my paper wet again. And come in here with a second layer of paint. Just like that. And I'm going to be kind of following some of the darker areas that it was on there before and I know this is a lot of that green I'm kind of channeling maybe some marble or something like that <laughs> Just like that. And maybe some more around here. A 
what do you guys think? I don't want to do too much, just a little bit extra. I do love that blue though. <laughs> I'm going to dab some of that darker color in here and just kind of let it do its thing. It is a very rich color. I'm just going to soften up some of these edges a little bit. All right. I'm going to put this back aside to dry and I'll be back. All right. I'm back and we're dry and I'm going to start some doodles on this. So I bit the bullet and bought <laughs> some Posca pens. They were on sale at Michael's not that long ago. So I um, tried them and they're amazing. I don't know why I ever tried anything else. And I also have this painter's uh, marker and I really like this too, but I only got this in black and I did this a while ago on a pen and marker video. These are great too, um, but I have a few colors, so I thought these might kind of go nice here, but I'm just going to play around. I kind of was looking at this and I sort of got this idea that it could be maybe an under, under the sea type of thing where this could be, you know, kind of a, I don't know, I'm thinking coral reef, but we'll see where it goes. So I'm going to start with something. <laughs> it's, there's so many colors, who's to say? Let's go with this one. And I'm going to go right here and start doodling.
I love these Posca pens. They're just great. They flow and color nicely. So I'm just kind of going through here and getting, just getting these kind of, some colored in, some not, and adding some visual interest down here. I'm just going to go ahead and color that too. I'm going to actually do a line right down here. Just like that. Now I went through that right there. So I'm just going to Go over that again and fix it. <laughs> Easy fix, right? And I'll color in some of these. That looks good to me. Let's go in here.
you think so far? I like it. I'm gonna go in with some white. I think that looks pretty good. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to go in with this uniball. We got some fish <laughs> and a scampi girl. So the gold didn't show up quite as much as I was hoping, but it's kind of a weird sort of <laughs> mid-range tone on this and it kind of fades, but I wanted to try to make sort of a school of fish coming in from the background and getting larger and kind of in and around the little coral wreath and everything so i really enjoyed doing this doodle and i kind of got i kind of got lost a little bit while i was actually doodling and i didn't really talk too much so i hope you enjoyed the music and the doodles while they happened live in real time and next time i think i'll try to be more chatty sometimes you just kind of get lost in in the movement i guess <laughs> so anyway i hope you enjoyed this and until next time keep creating